I'll just show you how to go through the, through the assessment of the lateral hip, specifically the glute minimus and medius uh, tendons. And what you do, you start uh, slightly distal so you can identify the cross section of the femur and the anterior part on the right side uh, in my picture. Then you go slowly proximal until you start seeing a concave anterior facet there on the greater uh, trochanter. That is, the, that is where the uh, footprint of the glute minimus is. So if you just bear that in mind, and if you go lateral and posterior, then there should be a convex uh, facet, which is the uh, footprint of the anterior band of the glute medius. Now, once you have identified that facet, the glute medius tendon lies on top, and it should be a parallel band of tissue. In this view, you can see it has a pointy end here, which is not correct. So to get a good lineup for that, we need to get a parallel band of tissue. So you angle the posterior side of the probe about 30 or 40 degrees up but you literally just do it until you see that parallel band of tissue. So now you've got a good footprint of a cross-section of the um, anterior band of the glute medius. At the same time, when you do that correctly, you start seeing the, what is basically a straight line here, which is the posterior facet on the greater uh, trochanter, which is the footprint of the posterior band of the glute medius. So the trick is, while you start on the anterior facet, identify that that, that is the glute minimus uh, footprint, then go for the lateral facet, which is convex, and line up properly the um, glute medius here on top, which is a parallel band of tissue, which gives you automatically the posterior uh, facet and therefore the posterior band of the glute medius. Once you have gone through that, you basically have them all lined up and you can use each individual um, tendon and start to um, scrutinize and assess that individually. So if we go to the glute mi uh, minimus in the front, we line it up, get it nicely lined up, there's the, there's the footprint and the transfers, and then we're gonna spin on it. And now you see the longitudinal fibers coming up. Now it, it dives down to the right side a bit, it's a bit oblique, so what we need to do is push down the proximal part of the probe a bit more to align the fibers better there. And that's your glute minimus going into the muscular tendinous junction below my cursor, there. Okay, so we go back now to transverse. Now we go to the lateral aspect. As we said, we just need to have a parallel band of tissue to make it nice and, uh, and, and correct aligned. And then we spin on that part. And so now we, we should end up with the uh, anterior band of the glute medius. Dives down again, so you push the probe down a little bit on the proximal side. It's quite a short tendon that goes into the muscle below my cursor. So there, there's the tendons on top. And we can sort of scrutinize this, the footprint here in longitudinal aspect. So once we have done that, we go back to uh, cross section, see the posterior, identify the posterior facet, line up, go a bit more posteriorly to line up the tendon a bit better in view. So you can see now a nice footprint of that tendon. And now we can spin on that part. And then we should come up to the tendon there. We can see now the footprint quite nicely on the long section now this time, because of longitudinal fibers diving into the muscular muscle junction there. And that's how you assess the tendons of the me, uh, minimus and the medius. So the real trick is to set it up for yourself with the bony landmarks, line up the tendons correctly, and then individually start assessing them. Mm -hmm.